ladder in LFT. LFT. Yes. So for the guys that don't know, what is LFT? Linear flex technology, which is pretty much your standard shortboard build. Everyone's used to the center stringer. We do it with a high density sheet That's foam. Cut out right there. We do a high density yeah. sheet foam like this. And that offers that normal feel kind of feel for the PU guy transferring over. And then we put a deck skin on top to dampen it. So you're not in the windy conditions. You're not chattering as much as the original epoxies from the 90s, late 2000s. So it sits in the water a little lower. This is a really good feel so board. So in between the foam and the skin right here, is there something right there in, in between it? or? Yeah. No, there's just foam, a little bit of fiberglass sandwiching the skin uh -huh. as it gets vacuum bagged into the board. So we vacuum bag all our boards here, or at Firewire. Yeah. Whether it's TimberTech, LFT, the new oh, Ibolic. Oh, even the TimberTech. I didn't yeah, know new Ibolic coming out, the helium, basalt, volcanic. Yeah. It's all vacuum bagged. So that's one process we take pride in because, as you know, as that world is coming out with other glass shop styles, it's something that works, and we, we back it. It gets yeah. a lot of resin out, gets the bonding super tight, and we get some durability out of it. So, so the more resin you can squeeze out, the stronger it is. It can't, yeah, because it's pressing down as well. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So, so, so the Flat Earth. Flat Earth. Probably it's been out for what? Two years now? Two years now. Yeah. Kelly started writing it a lot when he was off the tour hurt. And then it became a model of ours. And people love this board. I've been riding this board while I've been here. A couple of my friends ride it. Super snappy. Super wide. Right yeah. above your back foot. So you get that really good grovel right here. Um, you get good planing speed. Like something about Aquila, he lowers that rocker right here where it's super flat. Little flip out the tail. And then he adds the release with doing his dad's his dad's wing right here. Or Stinger, you know, the traditional. Small, some people call it squash tail. It's more like a baby squash, not so much around. Yeah. But probably one of the best boards for head high and below. Yeah. So guys that are riding it, are they usually riding something uh, a little bit larger? or? I mess with it with my basic ability a little larger. But I do lose a little bit of the snap, uh -huh. but I enjoy the paddle, I enjoy the speed. It's safer to go larger, but if you really are a short border guy, yeah. just go right at your leaders. Don't go under, because the Kila thins out the tips pretty well. Uh -huh. And if you go under your leaders, it might fight you a little bit until you get a little more push on the wave. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, I know um, a couple like the guys that can shoot through. Yeah. Um, they push the deck pad a little forward. Yes. You the, have to. The, the magic spot isn't like a true board where you're back and you lock up against the kick. The magic spot's pretty much on your side fins and the wing right here. You're, you're pretty much like right here. Yeah. And then that's where all the board, the magic happens, the flow, the yeah. stability, the quickness. It's pretty interesting. That's where it does it at. Yeah. Yeah. I've talked to quite a few guys that are really good surfers and they figured it out. But I have put my deck pad an inch up on this board. yeah yeah so it, when you look at the board you're like oh yeah board. yeah you would go pretty much a thumb up from the leash plug yeah so the kick would start here and then your foot's like more up here on the wing yeah. um it's a good versatile board super fast some people say it's one of the fastest boards they've ever ridden that own it it's got a good double barrel super small tail with a little v out the back and then just your normal basic good entry Kind of low up there with some nose flip for the steeper waves. This is the new um, Kelly Slater Twin Fin called the Twin Plus Two. So this is a good little like thing Kelly was testing on this flatter and the Kilo's other boards in Mexico was with this so fin. A little more drive. On this. A little more drive. You can, Kelly was riding with just a twin, no nubs. Really? A couple times because of the drive on this. It still has good tip flex, but it's playful for sure. Right on, thank you. Oh, cool. yeah, you're welcome. Thanks.